Hi guys, quick review of my homemade night vision. I'll just switch him on now. This is using an IR laser and a Sony chipped bullet camera. There we go, guys. I'm on three times magnification at the moment with an MTC Viper skip gives you the option of turning on the reptile if you want gives you have a better sight picture and this post here has been ranged out at 35 yards and if you look behind that that tree that you can see in the background there is at 70 yards and this is with the laser on a wide beam which I'll zoom in for you please excuse the noise because the microphone's right by the zoom ring just a case of winding in the zoom as far as she'll go and then play with the parallax adjustment on the side of the scope there you go you can see just how clear that is. Obviously the more you zoom in, the more light you lose. You can still see that tree at 70 yards, but not as well. So now what I'll do is I'll zoom back out again. Again, there we go. I'll zoom back to that post. There we go, I'll zoom back out and I'll show the second option for lighting. In principle, but not uh, not close range at all. So I turn this one off. Turn this one on. The first thing you'll notice is it's a very very small beam, pinpoint beam. As you can see, this is quite uh, quite strong, so it will reflect off things that are close away. As you can see, totally blown out the screen there. If we move up in the air to the background you probably just see in the background there the tops of a house and if I again take to the zoom ring like this it soon becomes apparent to that little dot when you zoom right in like this and then take to the focus wheel that little dot then becomes a very long range illuminator and this chimney pot here in aerial I would guesstimate at probably 180 to 200 yards remember in that tree was at 70 there's another building just to the left of that which has been ranged at 100 yards right there you go, there's the chimney right next to the apex of that roof see again it's too close, it's blowing out on the laser so this is a long distance illuminator as you can see behind that you've got a tree line now that tree line I would say is probably 300 yards away so you can see very very effective this at the moment is fitted uh, to the top of a 2-2 rimfire you can see easily lights up those chimneys and right to the top of the arrow again if I switch that off and come back to the small one you'll see at this range you're not really getting too much and come back to that post again. Still again that tree there that you can just see is at 70 yards. And zoom back into here. There we go. And again back out. I always find with this it's only been tested a couple of times, not this particular version but the original version which I'll show you in a minute. 
as you can see those trees still easily lighten up that tree which is according to my laser rangefinder 70 yards away from me thanks for watching any questions please feel free to ask and uh, hopefully I can help you get yours sorted this particular design that I'm showing you now cost me to build I would say around about the 65 to 70 pound mark as you can see it's uh, quite happily illuminating down there you zoom wind right back out gives you quite a wild wide field of view which is good for picking out bunny rabbits but then if you want that little bit of extra range obviously you pop the dot on and zoom right in there you go, you can still see those chimney pots from here, that's the closer one and right up in the background there there's the, right on top of there is the other one that aerial as I say I estimate to be 180 to 200 yards maybe even further, my rangefinder won't uh, won't ping on that distance there you go, there's the first demonstration we've already uh, been out and had a test run with the very first rig which proved quite effective but, uh, setting these lasers up to be how you want them can be a bit of a pain in the bum and take some time so as I say any questions please feel free to ask and I've got to thank very much Rollard's Bench from America who's uh, had some input on here for me very very useful chap in the way of knowledge and practicalness he's got a solution for most things as I say I'll uh, show in a later video the rig that I'm using now and how it's assembled and believe it or not it's not expensive all you need is cardboard PVA glue and a piece of plastic PVC pipe which I will show you in the next video just so you uh, you know what I'm recording onto this is actually recording onto an Arcos 504 which I've rigged my camera into so I can actually record from it's not meant to go into here Arcos actually do their own camera but I've uh, hot wired my own to go in there well, as I said before that's the end of the demonstration I hope you've enjoyed it please feel free to contact rate or like thank you very much indeed